Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie, that's butter. <laughs> um, just a quick video with some bok choy. If you don't know what bok choy is, it's a type of cabbage. It's so lovely. And um, I used to grow some. I couldn't grow any this year because of COVID and other stuff. But uh, I did find some at the Asian market, so I snatched it up. It's actually, they call it toy choy or baby choy, baby bok choy, the smaller kind. So anyways, we're going to roast it in the air fryer. What I've got here is a half a stick of unsalted butter. And uh, I'm just going to melt it in the air fryer. Like, why not, right? Let me put some garlic in there. Two cloves of garlic, minced garlic. I've got a teaspoon of smoked Hungarian paprika. Hot. It's not really that spicy, but it's got a little thing in the background. But I'm going to fix that. Okay. I'm going to squeeze uh, a lemon juice. A lemon. Put a little twang in there. A little zing zang. Okay, so it's about two tablespoons of that. I'm melting that in the air fryer before I cook the bok choy. Why not? And I'm going to baste the bok choy with that, okay? Here's my spice. Sriracha cha cha. Yes, why not? I'm going to put probably a good teaspoon of that in there, okay? So let's melt that on low. I'm going to get my uh, bok choy cleaned and I'm going to cut that up. Let's put the bottom on top on. Let's just do a one. I'm just trying to melt that while I prep. All right? So we'll be back. Guys, while that butter is melting, I, these are my bok choy. It is so good. You guys put it in soup and stuff. Uh, it's really good. But we're going to leave the stem on there so we can keep them together and just cut them in half. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. Cut them in half like that and we're going to lay them in the air fryer just like that. And I'm just going to show you one. I'm going to spray some olive oil on there just so it just gives it a chance to roast up a little bit. Okay? So do that while we melt the butter. Guys, about five minutes. We are going to take this out of there. Yeah, butter's all melted. All the spices and stuff is good. Don't forget to use an oven mitt because that's it's hot. Oh, make sure your uh, dish you put it in there to melt the butter that is oven proof. Okay? All right, here is my bok choy. Now, when you cut it in half, if you see some dirt in there, just rinse it out with uh, just rinse it out with water. They got little pockets that they hold dirt. The big bok choy has a lot of dirt. So, but anyways, look at that. See, we fit it all in there. So, we got some oil on all of that. We're gonna roast it. I'm gonna leave it at one. We're gonna take it slow. It's really close to the burner too, so turn your temperature down your air fryer to the lowest setting. And uh, I'll let you know how long I do that. I'm gonna keep the bottom on for now, but once I'm gonna baste it with butter, I'm gonna turn that off because it's just, it's, it's gonna be cooked, okay? So, but I'll let you know how long I do this. We're talking 10 minutes. It's looking beautiful. So I'm gonna cook it for another 10 minutes. I'm kind of busy, thank you. Um, I'm going to cook it for another 10 minutes, but I'm going to start basting it at this 10 minute mark, okay? Just start from the root. Oh, it's going to be so good. So I'm going to do this quite a few times. So it's going to take a little while, but I want all that to be soaked in there. And all the cracks. Okay? Again, the bottom's on for now. I don't think it's going to hurt, but I will be turning it off once it's cooked. All right, 10 more minutes. There we go, 20 minutes. It looks, it smells garlicky. I love it. All right, so what you can do is just cut the stem off and then the petals will just, or, but, but it's kind of like, like a cabbage. You got like a little V going on here, so you can cut the petals off like that. And, you know, if you're using the big bok choy, it's going to take a little longer to cook, but... Oh my gosh, I love, I love this stuff. Mmm! And if you don't like them a little bit crunchy, then do an extra five minutes, but there it is. It's perfect. Mmm! It's so good. That twang of the lemon juice. 
is beautiful with this. Garlic, little spice from the sriracha. That's good. It doesn't take much. Mm. If you don't want to do spicy, you can omit the sriracha and use regular paprika, but a little bit of pepper, you'd be good. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for shopping.